trying to turn my phone off But that's where all my friends are What do I do? Why is it so hard to find someone new so far? hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel for those who don't know me my name is daninga and i'm holding up my inspiration for the makeup look today so that's basically a sticky note it was on my table and i saw it and i thought wow i have not done green for a really really long time or basically a pastel neon green um that's not neon that's just pastel green yeah and then now let's just start yeah, basically i've already started with skin prepping my skin and i am using hyaluronic acid for this just applying it all over my face and neck and then after that we are going to do our brows and i am just brushing them up first after that we are going to take a pencil and i prefer uh, a dark brown pencil although most of the time i use a black one just because my eyebrows are really really sparse um so then i'm just filling them in and then i've gone in with my eyebrow gel which is by rimmel this is just a clear gel mascara eyebrow mascara and then now i'm going in with like uh, my usual concealer that i normally use for my brow which is the illegal pro conceal concealer in the shade fawn and i'm going in with the wrong brush as you can see that brush was really difficult to blend but i've washed my brushes today was wash day for brushes and and beauty blenders and all that so i basically don't have brushes that i'm able to use and then i'm going to go in with the maybelline fit me foundation uh not foundation maybelline fit me concealer and that's the shade honey caramel sorry that's the shade caramel and i'm just dabbing it all over my eyelids this is going to act as an eyeshadow base um for, so that at least my eyeshadow can last and also that it can have a surface to adhere to and it's go also going to color correct any dark darkness around my eyelids so i'm just dabbing it in with a brush and then i'm going in with the, with, with the main main thing here which is actually the green eyeliner i love this eyeliner i believe i've had it for the longest time but i absolutely love it i don't think i'll ever get rid of it and this is the illegal uh, la colors yes eyeliner in the shade forest green I think it was even discontinued um and then we are, we've just taken that dark green color from the makeup revolution palette and i'm just going to like extend the eyeliner rather um where you're basically seeing me applying i'm just kind of extending that eyeliner towards the inner corner of my eye and then after that we are going to go in with a very pale green i'd say pastel yes a pastel green eyeliner color okay but first i'm blending that so that it looks like it's a continuation and then that's now the pastel green um eyeshadow so we are applying that pastel green eyeshadow and we are going to apply it not only in the inner corner of our eye but also like below like we're going to apply it on top in the center sort of just basically blending it into the dark green so that it doesn't have harsh lines and we're also going to apply it in the inner corner of our eye and also below the inner corner of our eye just yeah on our lower lid a little bit just to create like a gradient effect so i just decided to add a little bit more because i really wanted the color to be similar to the, the, the whatever the sticky note that i was holding so yes i think i'm gonna love this look and then now i'm going to go back in with the dark green and i'm going to apply it just like some sort of eyeliner on my lower lid but not in the inner corner of the eye because the inner corner we've applied the really light color and for eyeliner i'm not going to use a black liner we've overdone the black liner we need to enlarge our eyes so i'm using a white eyeliner from the makeup revolution i love this eyeliner beautiful easy to apply and it's just gonna make my eyes look all that much better as you guys as you guys can see and then i've already put lashes on as you can see those betty boop look alike lashes and yeah i didn't do much blending because i wanted the colors to like really pop yeah but you can always over blend i just sort of added a little dark green to the top so that it can look like a little bit of a cut crease but not really a cut crease because we didn't cut any crease now we are going to do our color correcting 
rather we are not color correcting we're just concealing dark spots so i'm just going to apply that concealer that i used on my eyebrows on any spots that i feel are too dark because what i'm going to use today is a skin tint and not a foundation so i'm just going to dab 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 that in to cover any dark spots Now for foundation, I'm going to use this skin tint by Rimmel, which is the Kind and Free foundation. And this is the shade Deep Mocha. As you guys are going to see, it's not really that, how can I put it? It's not that, um, huh, I don't know how to describe it. It's not, yeah, it's not opaque. Yeah, it's a skin tint. It just adds a little bit of color to your skin. As you guys can see, that's the reason I was really prepping my skin, covering up dark spots and all that. Because your skin is going to still be peeking through at the end of its application. But it's really lightweight. It's like you're applying moisturizer. Very nice. Now we are going to go in with our concealer. And I'm going to use the same Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I'm going to apply it yeah, in the areas that I want highlighted, like below my eyes. You know, areas that have shadows like my lips, my, not my lips, just above my lips and below my lips. You know, remove any mustache shadows or something of the sort. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to go in with a beauty blender because clearly that brush was not doing me justice. As I said, my brushes are be have been washed. So the ones I'm using are just a few. Now we're going to do our lips. And you guys know that I love lining my lips with a black pencil. Now, people fear black pencils, but it just depends on how you're going to blend it out. It just depends on how you're going to blend it out. If you do not blend out a black lips, a black pencil, it's going to be horrendous. You're going to look like you've just, I don't know, like you dropped from 1998 or something of the sort. But yeah, we are going to blend that out fast. So I've just used a brush to blend out that pencil and then now we are going to go in with this color on its own this color is horrendous on our skin tone but with the black pencil you're going to see how it turns out beautiful so this is basically the maybelline sensational lipstick and this is the shade keep it mellow as you can see it's a very bright shade for our skin yeah so i'm just going to like blend that out and make sure that you blend thoroughly when i say thoroughly i mean thoroughly like thoroughly and guys don't forget to subscribe make sure you're subscribed and turn on the bell notification this video is basically a case of trust the process yeah okay so that's the first coat as you guys have seen how it turned out to the first coat and remember i'm only applying the sensational lipstick to the center not all over my lips at the center and then blending it out and then you're gonna get something like this yes i'm just being silly over there but you're going to get something that looks like this basically now we are going to apply some gloss and you're gonna see how beautiful this turned out to be yeah then we're gonna do a little nose nose contour and just a little a little nose contour now i'm just gonna dab that in that contour that i've applied in with a beauty blender guys <laughs> I love this look. I love that eyeshadow. I wish I had somewhere to go with it. Anyway, so I'm just going to apply this powder all over my face. Yeah, I'm just kind of applying a lot. I want to get rid of those lines that you're seeing around my mouth. Uh-huh. So we are going to apply a lot of powder and then we're going to remove it. So it's kind of faded out the lines. But as you can see, how those lips turned out stunning. Now we're going to apply a little bit of blush. It's like a peachy, peachy reddish blush and then on top of that i'm gonna apply highlighter that's what i'm applying now and we have the beautiful beautiful gorgeous look oh guys it came out so well i love it